Once again, Magnus Carlsen's taking a sledgehammer to the rules of chess because after his opponent goes d4 on the opening move, like the Norse god Thor, he plays knight a6. Sledgehammer to the principles, right? Because he's not fighting for the centre with a pawn or a knight coming towards to fight for these squares. Instead, he's sidelining this one. It's in the Australian outback. Why do I say that? Well, apparently this is called the Australian defence. Now, who would Magnus have the audacity to play this against? Well, his opponent here is an international master, Daniel Barria Zaniga from Chile. Yes, Magnus is better on paper, but we've seen stranger things happen than Magnus lose to these players. When they take the centre in a principled manner, and he then goes E5 giving an entire pawn if white wants to take it. But it wasn't taken. It should have been. It was the best move. But e3 played. This is where you can imagine Daniel's chess coach just being like, right, get out. You cannot play that move. That bishop's terrible down here now. Not good enough. Too meek. Magnus now fights for the center. And after knight f3, e4, Daniel doesn't play the more aggressive knight e5. Looks like maybe the knight's getting trapped. But after f6, there's queen h5, check stuff. White's doing well. But no, instead, knight d2. This is where his coach should be like, right. You get out and you stay out. That is terrible. It's meek. You're not punishing the world blitz champion, right? Magnus can go c6. Now knight c3 and knight c7. That horsey springing back towards the cities. Urban life away from the outback like a kangaroo. And this is where I'm getting more optimistic because I was doing the predictions with Chess Profit. A brand new game. It's live every title. Tuesday early and late events you predict what's going to happen on three of the top nine boards you rack up points and then look at the prizes you can win here there's weekly there's monthly annual prizes like visiting Magnus himself so check out the link below give it a whirl one week it is really really good fun add some spice to the games here so Magnus bringing the knight back around and f3 here from Daniel. He wants to fight for the central space. So Magnus takes, knight recaptures and now bishop f5 starts this epic fight for the e4 square. Very positionally instructive. So bishop d3 challenges that strong bishop. We see an exchange, queen recaptures, knight f6, stopping an immediate e4. At least first white wants the castle. Take care of the king right. You don't normally start opening things up when your king's in the center. And now bishop b4, again, part of this battle for the e4 square. And Daniel now goes wrong. This bishop is bad and it stays bad. What should he do here? Well, the surprising move, e4, is actually strong. Looks like you're shedding a pawn. Now we're into the back cave here. Analysis mode, the board's greyed out. Why is this a good move after giving this pawn? Well, you can take here, and now, not knight recaptures, sorry, you shed a knight. Pawn recaptures to hold your knight, then you stop the king castling, f6, c4. These are the kind of lines that can appear on the board. You're ripping open the center, big attack, the black king stuck. So the e4 move was best, but bishop d2 played, allowing takes, bishop recaptures, castles, knight d2 fighting for the square, again knight e5 more active, this is a recurring theme of the game, Magnus brings the rook and now takes on d5, rook a e1, they're all more active moves, but sorry, better moves, maybe I shouldn't say active, because this was played, it is an active move, keeps an eye on e4, but it's not a good one, because the pawn captures on c4, knight recaptures, and Magnus centralizes this knight, the one that was his worst piece on move one is suddenly the star of the show, 
the rook drops back to f3 here and the second knight plants itself in the center look at these ones in the melbourne central business district no longer out in the outback they are dominating the white position so this rook doubles on the file magnus pushes f6 to defend that weakness knight d2 trying to attack that one you can go knight g5 keep pieces on the board but magnus goes queen e7 he allows this liquidation goes into the end game here but look at the domination sitting on the head of that pawn as i like to say like a sumo wrestler just squashing so bishop d2 covers the pawn that one just never finds life magnus doubles the rooks king f2 to cover and g5 magnus gets the squeeze on here this is what you didgery don't do if you want to get an active position h3 played h5 on the board and now a straight up blunder from daniel here what should he have done well rookie want a better move drop the king back maybe do something with the pawns but he goes king e2 and he's walking straight into this pin magnus simply wins a pawn first kicking the rook and then taking on d4 and the position just goes from bad to worse here because the rook slides across here can you see a tactic now for black simple stuff wins an exchange on the spot well done if you saw it it's knight to f4 check you go to Forktown, population daniel magnus picks up that rook he's an exchange to the good <clears throat> excuse me so rook a5 pressures a7 the pawn pushes on now we get rook a3 rook f5 played now this one comes back pressuring g4 and this is instructive rook g5 playable but magnus does this allowing the pawn to drop just simply to get the rooks off squash counterplay can he get the job done not make any blunders he brings his king around activates the rook so tough for white to do anything with an exchange down e4 pressure defended king e6 g3 and b5 magnus gets his three on two rumbling c5 threatened the king covers that square but now rook e2 how do you defend b2 and not allow c5 well the bishop slides back but now c5 check sets a trap and daniel falls for it once again he's outclassed in this game he takes the pawn he shouldn't do but there's many many difficult choices it's just lost magnus checks picks up the bishop these now the final moves of the game and here daniel resigns completely overwhelmed by this the australian defense give it a whirl let me know how you get on is this the future of blitz chess entitled tuesday i hope you enjoyed this one smash subscribe if you did and to check out another awesome magnus game see the video on screen thanks a lot for watching and see you soon